Following our BIPC webinar, an introduction to PR for startups and SMEs, I want to give you a little bit of a summary of what we discussed to help you on your PR journey. So one of the key things that we went through was the difference between traditional and digital PR and why you need to make sure that you encompass both within your PR strategy. Traditional PR, such as print magazine, is really valuable, well respected, and it's really important that way to market and share your new story. So it's really important to make sure that you're using traditional outlets. But of course, we can't forget the new kid on the block, digital. Although digital, such as social media, blogs, videos, podcasts have been around for a while, they're not being utilised as well as they probably should. So we would recommend highly that you uh, incorporate these into your PR strategies. And of course, the strongest PR strategy does encompass both digital and traditional PR activities. So it's really important to bear those in mind when you're in planning stages. So when you are planning your your next press release or your first press release, the main thing to consider is, is your story actually newsworthy? Will it capture the attention of the journalists that you're writing to? Are you writing to the local press? Are you writing to the trade media? And what is the story? What is the angle? What's going, what is the hook that's really going to make them think, wow, we really need to share this story right here, right now. Get it on print, get it online, get it on our socials. What is the newsworthy angle? And that's something really important to bear in mind. Whether that is an expansion of your services, whether it's a launch of a new product, whether that's the growth of the team, whether it's growth of the business in general and you can provide stats and figures to provide evidence to show that you are growing, that's really important and really essential for the journalist to have to hand to. Another important thing is to be concise. Keep your release short, sharp and sweet. Journalists don't have a lot of time on their hands to read through reams and reams of paper. Keep it to one side of A4, three to 400 words, depending on what the story is and how complex it is. And make sure that you add quotes, um, and which involve opinions from those in your company. It could be from those in your company, as I mentioned, such as the managing director, or it could be, you know, your new recruit could perhaps offer an opinion. It could be your client if you're writing a client case study based story. Think about who's best to quote in your release and include two to three quotes within the release too. Make sure you include contact information. That's really important. You don't just want to end your story and not let anyone know how to get in touch with you. Include your website, include an email address, include a phone number. Even social media handles is a good thing too to make it really easy for the journalist to share the story once online on their social media channels too. They've got their handles there of yours ready just to share straight away online. And the last piece of advice I have got for you is to make sure you take an inspiring press shot to accompany your press release. An inspiring, eye-catching press shot that's not just um, a, someone's dressed up in a suit, arms folded, sat behind a desk, isn't inspiring. That isn't going to sell, help sell the story. A really eye-catching photo can really help sell the story and can really help to get you know attention on the page, capture the attention of your audience and really drive people to click on your website and go through to your website as well. And actually, one bonus top tip with digital PR, make sure you're asking for backlinks to your website so you can drive traffic back to your website through the publications and drive your target market through to your site to learn more about your brand, your services and your products. Hope this has helped, but if you do have any more questions regarding PR and PR strategies, please don't hesitate to get in touch with the team.